What on earth is this theropod dinosaur doing? Theropods were the top predators on land during most of the age of dinosaurs, but this particular theropod is paddling through a tropical lagoon in the most awkward manner. Yes, dinosaurs could swim, just like most living animals today can swim if need be. This probably wasn't something that dinosaurs did very often, but in this case, this theropod has taken the plunge for one reason, its next meal. This theropod lives on a series of humid islands surrounded by warm lagoons. And the only way to move between these islands is by swimming. And on one island in particular is a carnivore's delight, a breeding colony of pterosaurs, the Mesozoic equivalent of a fully stocked buffet car. After making landfall, this theropod stalks through the forest, making every effort to dampen the sound of its thunderous footfalls. And through a clearing is his prize, the pterosaur breeding colony where pterosaur mothers return to year after year to lay eggs and raise their young. Here, the baby pterosaurs feed on a bounty of insects, shellfish, and small fish, using their toothy jaws to poke through the sand. This is Mesozoic paradise, until the tranquility is rudely interrupted by the theropod, hungry for pterosaur on the wing. He approaches the breeding colony slowly, hoping to catch the pterosaurs by surprise, and then he strikes. Within moments, the scene is pure chaos. The pterosaurs scatter into the skies, fluttering around in a dazed panic. The hungry theropod jumps around like a madman, hoping to catch a pterosaur or two before the whole flock disbands. But so far, he is unsuccessful. The pterosaurs fly too fast, and their aerial maneuvers are enough to keep the theropod off balanced and confused. And then, finally, he tastes success, grabbing a pterosaur out of the air with an acrobatic move that any gymnast would be proud of. Wait, I can wait. hear the dinosaur coming. We better run. Awesome. That was so cool.